What we have here is my very first print with the C Reality CR10. Yep, I got the bad G code file. So let's pretend the cat doesn't exist. Oh, decapitated him. And let's go to this. That is my very first print. I said, screw it, I'm going to work. Let's print the damn rocket. So, do a little lift off and hop over here. We have the G Create rocket. Oh, you're not supposed to see that. <laughs> That's coming later. So here is the G Create rocket in vase mode. You can see the cooling issue up top here. Of course, the tower was ruined. But you can see the cooling issue here. Come on, focus, damn you. So this is the side that had the cooling fan. And this is the side that didn't. You can see the difference there. Okay. I've had no problem since installing the fan upgrade, so I might not even need the fan, but I'm going to try it anyway. But uh, I also figured out how to improve my face mode prints, so let me show you my latest print, not counting what's going on the printer right now. Hang on, I hear the rocket coming in now. Oh yeah! Now that's a rocket. Go big or go home. Isn't that what they say? That is 390 millimeters tall, and it came out spectacular. It is absolutely perfect. The surface is perfect. There are no perturbations at the higher Z heights. No issues whatsoever. The point is crisp. Come on, focus, dang it. Maybe I'm too close. There we go. The point is crisp and actually pokey. It's sharp. There are no holes, no gaps. I have a slight flaws on these two fins here. You can see where it shifted. Yeah, there you go. Come on. You can see where it shifted here and it shifted here. You can really see that on the end of one of these spinnerets here. There you go. I believe when this was printing that my bed level wasn't exactly perfect and that these two broke free. Because when I went to take it off the bed, I noticed that these two weren't attached. The center and this was still attached. So that's why the perturbation in the layer is here, but not on this one. This one's perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. That one was still attached. So I think what happened is I didn't have my bed level perfect. My squish wasn't quite enough and this popped free and moved a little bit during that one layer that it printed. Otherwise I think this would have printed perfect. It is single layer, hollow all the way through. I do plan to put a rocket engine in this to make this fly. I also have G-code sliced to make a much, much bigger, taller version of this. Uh, I will print 390 millimeters to here and then I have a separate nose cone, same model, stretched out another 300 millimeters to make it around um, 700 millimeters tall or so. Longer, we'll shift the CP backwards, which will make it easier to get the center of gravity where it needs to be without having to add so much nose weight. Because this is pretty heavy as far as rockets go. I mean, it's light as far as prints go, but it's for rocketry, this is pretty heavy. Um, uh, also, when I do my vase modes, I set it normal 0.4 millimeter wall thickness but I on the printer I turn the flow to 150 and it gives me these nice thick super nice prints no problems whatsoever you just got to remember to turn that flow back down when you do your next print <laughs> or you're going to ruin your next print or you won't, your tolerances will be gone because you'll be extruding too much plastic but absolutely beautiful I love this mmm I cannot wait to print more big stuff. So as you can see, with the um, fan upgrade, or just on this one had no fan upgrade. This was before the fan upgrade, but I'd well tuned it, and I just slowed it down. That's all. I just slowed it down. This is a 215C, and I slowed it down so that it wouldn't give me a problem when it did these parts up here. And that's it. Came out great.